On the occasion of National Lipid Day, Dr. Bharat Bhushan Kukreja is with us from Guwahati on Arikster Radio Talk Show, who will tell us today everything about keeping the heart healthy. Welcome, Doctor. Doctor, what's your message for our listeners with special focus on diet and lifestyle modifications for people with dyslipidemia? This is a very big question. My humble suggestion for all of us who are hearing or participating in this is: diet, eat your food graciously, follow time-restricted eating, and make sure that you eat your night meal at least three to four hours before you go to bed. Exercise: 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise five days in a week, and at least two times in a week one should perform. some form of resistant exercise smoking cessation limiting alcohol consumption maintaining optimum body weight and ensuring 6 to 7 hours quality sleep at night are equally important let me also stress here that one should all practice stress management in life because all these are going to help us to keep our body our lipid our all other metabolic systems in good health and give us a good longevity doctor what are the causes of dyslipidemia it is due to combination of genetic and sex secondary factors genetic or what we call primary causes lead to ldl cholesterol or triglyceride overproduction in the body or there is a defect in removing this from the circulation in the body this problem runs in families and is usually inherited the secondary dyslipidemia which is the most common we come across is caused by environmental factors diseases or medication sedentary lifestyle or high saturated fat intake then diseases like type 2 diabetes hypothyroidism or obstructive jaundice medicines like thyroid diuretic anabolic steroids and progesterone all this can lead to dyslipidemia doctor what is dyslipidemia dyslipidemia is a metabolic disorder causing abnormally high or low levels of lipid or lipoprotein in the blood raised serum cholesterol high triglyceride or low ldl cholesterol or decreased levels of hdl cholesterol are the constituents of dyslipidemia Doctor is there any relation between diabetes and dyslipidemia Dyslipidemia is a major risk factor for cardiovascular disease in people with diabetes high triglyceride low hdl cholesterol which is the good cholesterol high ldl cholesterol and increase in small dense ldl particles lead to atherogenesis which we call plaque formation in the blood vessels which cause a compromise in the blood flow to the vital organs in the body doctor is there any relation between diabetes and dyslipidemia dyslipidemia is a major risk factor for cardiovascular disease in people with diabetes high triglyceride low hdl cholesterol which is the good cholesterol high ldl cholesterol and increase in small dense ldl particles lead to atherogenesis which we call plaque formation in the blood vessels which cause a compromise in the blood flow to the vital organs in the body doctor can exercise lower cholesterol levels yes exercise can lower blood cholesterol levels regular exercises help reduce the bad cholesterol called ldl cholesterol and the raise the good cholesterol called the hdl cholesterol may i inform everyone that there is no medicine available to increase the good cholesterol which is hdlc besides exercise therefore exercise is a uh, the best medicine for raising good cholesterol doctor what is dyslipidemia dyslipidemia is a metabolic disorder causing abnormally high or low levels of lipid or lipoprotein in the blood raised serum cholesterol high triglyceride or low ldl cholesterol or decreased levels of hdl cholesterol are the constituents of dyslipidemia doctor is there any relation between diabetes and dyslipidemia dyslipidemia is a major risk factor for cardiovascular disease in people with diabetes high triglyceride low hdl cholesterol which is the good cholesterol high ldl cholesterol and increase in small dense ldl particles lead to atherogenesis which we call plaque formation in the blood vessels which cause a compromise in the blood flow to the vital organs in the body doctor can exercise lower cholesterol levels yes exercise can lower blood cholesterol levels regular exercises help reduce the bad cholesterol called ldl cholesterol and the raise the good cholesterol called the hdl cholesterol may i inform everyone that there is no medicine available to increase the good cholesterol which is hdlc besides exercise therefore exercise is a uh, the best medicine for raising good cholesterol doctor what is dyslipidemia dyslipidemia is a metabolic disorder 
a public awareness initiative by Ipka Laboratories Limited, the makers of RX Store and RX Store Gold.